the rock cranes live in the alpine zone above the bush line. They're tough little survivors. They live up here in this avalanche prone country that completely covered in snow for several months of the winter. It's in the lower part of this basin, not up on the cliffs. We think we've got 15 pairs of rock cranes and we've been able to monitor nests of 13 pairs. The thing that we've found this year that hasn't been found before is this major predation event. So um, there have been other rock cream nesting studies and they've found around 10% predation of nests but we've found that nearly every nest that we've monitored and every nest in the cirque has failed which is really unusual. If um, that happened every year we wouldn't have a rock cream population up here, they'd be extinct. I'll do these and I'll wander down towards you and then yep. probably just pick you up from that car park. Um, I'm just here to check that the nest is still active and change the battery and just check on the focus of the camera and everything to make sure that if there's some sort of predation event we'll catch it on film. So um, the nest is just up there in front of where, the, where you can see the cord. At the moment these uh, rock cranes are feeding chicks. One of the parents stays with the chicks and the other one is off feeding frantically to try and find moths and bugs and grubs for the, to feed the family. Then they, as soon as that one's got some food, it will bring it back to the nest and the other one will fly off and be on a foraging mission. So I'm standing next to a rock wren nest in the home of Sirk. Um, the nest is in this Dracophyllum bush and it's quite deep in the middle. The entrance is here in the middle. Unfortunately, it's one of the nests that has failed in this area. upon by a stoat most likely. There's the leg of the adult rock wren when it was incubating and you can see the metal band that it had been banded with and you can also see quite a few egg fragments. Seems like stoats are the big the big major threat and that mice are also a threat. Before humans arrived and, and introduced mammals arrived in New Zealand rock wrens would have been throughout the South Island um, at high numbers in the Alpine zone. They're much less common in the Kaharangi National Park than they once were and populations are blinking out in places like the Kaikoura Ranges because there doesn't seem to be a stronghold anywhere north of Mount Cook now. They still have some strongholds in the south but um, we're quite concerned that they'll go the same way as the northern populations without pest management. But the, the thing that's really clear is that we need to extend stoke control past the bush line and into the alpine zones in places like this to protect some of our more valuable rock cream populations.